Alrighty, so at this point, we have our Rollerball demo. Now we would like to interface it with the Connect. To do this, we're going to use the Simple Connect Unity package. It's over here. So in the Simple Connect package, there's a prefab. You can drag this prefab into your game, and it will um, initiate the Connect and do all the stuff that's required for that. So now, when I start my game, the Connect will turn on. And uh, it's not going to do anything yet because I haven't interfaced it. So now I want my ball that we created previously to follow my right hand say. So what we're going to do is go into our player and we're going to add a script. The script that we're going to add is uh, follow join. You can find it in duh, 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 duh. scripts. No, connect stuff, there it is. And follow join. So let's drag it onto our player. And then we need to uh, fill out which object we would like to track. So in this case, I'd like to follow my right hand. And you can find that I have a right hand object here. So you can drag this right hand object into the player controller script. So that's the tracked object. And now the ball should follow my right hand. So you can see it there in the scene. As I move my hand closer to the connect, it moves closer to the camera. In many games, this isn't what you want, though. So inside that follow joint script, there's an option to invert each axis. Since the z-axis is the one that goes toward the camera, in this case, we're going to invert the z-axis. So now, when we click play, as I move my hand forward, the ball moves forward within the world space and back. Left, right, up, down, etc. So now, with my right hand, I can control the ball. All of the pickups should still work as they did before, and the game can still be won. So I'm getting all the pickups with my right hand. Oh, go backing up a little. It's just like using the mouse or arrow keys, but in 3D. So as you can see, that still works. So now let's say we want to track something other than our right hand. You can adjust this in the moving object parent. So I have a detect joint script attached to here. And this has a track joint option. You can change this to be any joint you like. So let's say I want to do my left hand. I'll select the hand left object, which is somewhere. There it is. And then, for the sake of making things make sense, rename my object to left hand object. So now that this is called left hand object, we want to make sure that the object attached to the player controller, follow joint, is indeed the left hand object, as is visible right here. So now, when I click play, it should follow my left hand, not my right hand. If the connect can find me. Yeah, there it goes. And so I can move my left hand forward, left, right, up, down, etc. So now let's say we want to track multiple joints at the same time. This whole moving object's parent part can be duplicated. So control D or command D to duplicate. And we can now create a left-hand object and a right-hand object. So let's go back to being hand-right and rename this. So I'm going to add another sphere to my scene in order to 
have another object for my other hand. So let's create a sphere. And then I'm going to make it so my right hand follows this one, since my left hand already follows the player. So in connect stuff, follow joint, drag it right onto that sphere. Okay? So now I want this to follow my right hand object, so I'm going to drag that in as my track joint. And now that sphere should follow my right hand while the other follows my left. So I didn't set the invert option on that one though. So as I move forward, they each go in opposite directions. But otherwise, left and right work as you'd expect, and up and down. So let's say I want to track a different joint. Like let's make my left hand object be my head. We'll go to that moving object parent, change it to head here, and let's rename this to head. Now, my right hand controls the sphere that we just added, and my head controls the player. So, where is my right hand? There's my right hand. Where's my head? Can we see it? Can I get it in? It's down here. You can see it up on the uh, scene view. I'm struggling to get bearings. Oh, I never set invert axis. That would explain that. Uh, probably gonna. Yeah. It was on player, right? Yeah. No, it was not. It was on the screen. There it is. So as I move my head left and right, up and down, and my hand, they all go properly. Each object's position can be addressed by other objects, and so this is how you can gather your data to use however you like.